And we're back on Teyao War, and today we're going to be doing the European Rabbit Guide. So the European Rabbits are not like the other animals. They don't have need zones. They do have burrows. Now, the burrows, they are not marked on the map, which is really unfortunate. I hope that's something we can get in the future. Just some way to find out, like, where our burrows are. You have, like, the need zones, like the feed zones, the drinking zones, and stuff like that. But there's no way to tell where your burrows are, and it really is unfortunate. But, yeah, um, basically, let's just go ahead and let's jump right in here to some of the basic information about them. Then we'll go out and we'll hunt some of these rabbits. But starting off, they are class 1 animals, which gives you um, a couple different options for guns and stuff you can use. You can use the 22 LR or the 22 AR if you want to. You have the Cacciatore 12 gauge, the 16 gauge, um, the 10 gauge. Any shotgun that you can uh, use in the game, you can use on the European Rabbits, just as long as you're using birdshot. Don't use, like, buckshot or anything like that. But, yeah, basically, um, max level is 3, max weight is 2.6 kg, silver is 1.2 Gold is 1.9 and diamond is 2.4. My first ever diamond, I'm European Rabbit, and my only diamond European Rabbit was a diamond level 2. I just happened to shoot one that had really good estimates on him, and he ended up being a diamond level 2, which was really cool. Common fur types are brown, dark brown, light brown, light gray, and tan. And then rare fur types are albino, leucistic, and melanistic. Pretty sure I have a leucistic and melanistic. I just need to get an albino at this point. But yeah, um, just the common rare fur types there that we normally see on other animals. But yeah, I think that is it. We're going to go and we're going to jump right in here. And we're going to go take down some European rabbits. Here we have some burrows right here. That's actually a really decent level too. 1 to 2 for his estimates and then 1 to 2 kg for his weight. That's the same estimates that I had when I got my diamond level 2. So chances are he could be a diamond level 2. Will it happen? Probably not, but there is a slight chance. This is over here. Um, I can't really pronounce that there, but it's just along the river here. In this little area, I actually have a tin here from when I was doing my red deer grind. And this um, rabbit zone, or this rabbit burrow, as I should say, is just kind of right here on top of it. Let's go ahead and let's take one of these guys down. I definitely want to get that guy. Definitely want to get him. Let's use the 10 gauge. Um, since I pulled it out, I pulled the 16 gauge. Now, this is the 10 gauge. Let's get the 10 gauge here, and let's try to go for one of these guys. I definitely want to go ahead and spot him really quickly so I know exactly where he's at. Let's get the um, binoculars back out really quickly. And let's see. That is, yeah, that's going to be him right there. Let's go ahead and let's go for him. We'll get him down. Then we'll see if maybe we can get some others. I don't even know exactly where they went. Um, but we got the biggest one down, I'm pretty sure, out of all of them. And I don't see any others over here. Let's go ahead and let's pick him up. And I will have a map guide that will show you where a bunch of my um, burrows are. To hopefully give you just a, a good idea of where yours are. Because no one's map is going to be the same. But they should be in these same general areas. But he's actually going to be pretty small. He's just a silver at 1.87. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot because I can get a thumbnail out of this. But yeah, we'll go ahead and accept him there. And the best time to actually find them is right around like the morning time, basically. 5 to 9 a.m. It's currently um, almost 7 right now. But 5 to 9 a.m. seems to be the best time to hunt them. But let's go ahead and let's go to another burrow. And we have some more burrows right here. We have a level 2 male right there. His estimate is just a 1. There's also some others over here, but I'm pretty sure he is the only male. Sometimes they do get in the tall grass like this. Sometimes the burrows are just in the tall grass. And it makes it hard to actually spot them and stuff. What I would recommend doing is getting like a tripod or something. Get a tripod, set it up close by, and then you can kind of just look over the grass and stuff. Look over them. And then go to town on them. But yeah, let's go ahead and use the 16 gauge on this level 2. We'll use the 16 gauge here, and that'll be good. Let's see, can we get another one? Let's go ahead and go for that shot, and yeah, we did. Let's, we got that one. Let's pick this guy up, and he will be a silver at 1.71. Got him in the flesh for one hit there, and yeah, pretty good shot on him. And then this one over here, I'm pretty sure will be a female. I didn't see any other males. Oh, it's actually a male. It'll be a level one male. I'm silver, 1.65. Got him in the flesh for one hit as well, so two males out of that. Let's go see another burrow. And we have some more burrows here, and these burrows are actually pretty good. We have that guy right there. His estimate is 1 to 2. There's actually three of them, I'm pretty sure. There's another one right there, 1 to 2 for his estimates. And that one is also 1 to 2. But then we have a really big one right here. His estimate is just 2. He has a really good shot at being a diamond. Will he be? Who knows? I mean, but he has a really good shot at being a diamond level 2. Let's go ahead and let's use the Cachadori 12 gauge, and let's go for that guy. We'll go for him, and then might try to go for one of these others. Um, uh, Yeah, we got three of them right there. Um, that was really good. We got the one we wanted. Let's go and we'll start on the right side here. Let's pick this guy up. He'll be a gold at 1.92. That is our first gold of the day. Really good um, shot on him. Really good. Really decent one for sure. And this one will be a gold as well at 195 or 1.95, I should say, and got him one time. And then this one right here. Will he be a diamond? That would be really cool if he was. No, he'll just be a gold at 2.26, but he definitely is really big. Like we said, diamond is 2.4. He is definitely a really big one for sure. Now we're going to take a look at the European Rabbit map guide. As you can see, I've done it differently this time. Instead of having just the map with the stars, it now has some of the information that I talked about in the video on the left side, like the fur types, the max level, all the stuff you really need to know in case you like forgot about it in the video or something. It'll be right there when you like screenshot this or whatever. 
but yeah, all the stars, that is where my burrows are, and like I said, um, none of our maps are going to be the same, so your um, burrows are not going to be on the same like exact spot, but it should be in the same general area where you should be able to get started. But yeah, I marked a whole bunch of them there, and then the red circles are the hot spots where I find like the most of them, like along the river and stuff like that. But yeah, I really do hope this is helpful, and if it is, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff, it really does help out the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.